Hi guys, this is Abi from Gokshe DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to access the parameters in the parameter store using a lambda function in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the systems manager service, then click on parameter store in the left menu. Here, I have three parameter paths defined. We'll be accessing the slash db slash mongodb path parameter, which is a secure string using a lambda function. Next, let's navigate to the lambda service, then click on create function and give your function a name. I'm going to select Python from the runtime dropdown, then hit the create function button. Scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code. In this code, I'm first importing the Boto3 library, then using the get underscore parameter method to grab the value of slash db slash mongodb parameter path with decryption set to true. On line 12, I'm printing the response from this method, and on line 14, I'm printing the parameter value. Hit deploy, then click on test and give your test event a name. Click on save, then hit test again to execute your Lambda function. Looks like we ran into an access denied exception error. To fix this, click on the configuration tab, then click on permissions in the left menu. Navigate to the execution role hyperlink, then click on the add permissions dropdown and select create inline policy. For service, select systems manager, and for actions, I'm going to select all the read actions that say get parameter or get parameters. Expand the resources bar and click on add ARN. Enter the region name, for me it's US East 1, and the parameter name. Pay attention here because this is important. Attention! When you specify the parameter path, do not type the leading slash. So for this example, I'm going to say db slash star. Hit add, then click on review policy. Give your policy a name, then click on create policy. I'm going to look at the policy document to confirm everything looks as expected. Give it a few minutes for the policy to take effect, then head to the Lambda window. Navigate to the Code tab, then hit the Test button to execute your Lambda function. As expected, this time we get the value of our parameter path slash db slash mongodb in the response output. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.